The NHL playoffs start this week, and we have a big local rivalry first-round matchup between the Rangers and the Devils. Which local team will come out on top with bragging rights, and who has the edge in this series? So, it's time for some hockey talk with the one and only NHL columnist for the New York Post. That is Larry Brooks. Larry, how you doing? I'm doing well, Dexter. How are you? I'm doing good. It is playoff time. I see you got the playoff beard going. You're ready. Yeah. You're ready for the playoffs, Larry. All right, yeah. let's start with this. The Rangers, they're viewed by many as being the bigger team, the more physical squad here, while the Devils, they both speed and skill. And you've covered a lot of playoff hockey, so I have to ask you, with those factors going on for each team, which team has the edge? Well, it's a little bit different. You know, it's, it's a little bit different era of hockey right now. And, and this year, uh, offensive talent has ruled in the, in the NHL regular season. Whether that carries over a little bit into the playoffs, we'll see. I, I think it's it's uh, the Rangers aren't really a big physical team. They 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 do have a little more size and and they are a bit more grinding than the Devils are. But but both teams want to get out into into open ice and um, the the Rangers will have the advantage if they can keep the puck in low, if they can have puck possession and force the Devils to go 200 feet to score. Um, the Devils will have the advantage if the Rangers committing are, are committing turnovers um, are careless with the puck in the neutral zone and New Jersey only has to go half the length of the of the ice um, um, they're a lethal team on the counterattack. once once they get into open ice they're almost impossible to stop unless you have a goaltender like Igor Shesterkin um, so that's one of the edges the Rangers are going to bring into the series I think but what the Rangers are going to want to do is force the def the Devils to play defense in their own end. They want to have the puck, even though they are also a team that wants to, you know, that wants to strut their stuff and uh, and score some pretty goals. Both teams want to score pretty goals. Both teams want to do that. We'll see who is able to do that. Now, I want to ask you about this, because anytime you talk about playoffs and whatever sport, experience always comes up. And the Blue Shirts, they have a real veteran presence with the likes of Patrick Kane, Vladimir Tarasenko, but they're going up against the youngest team in the league. So how much of a factor do you think experience will play in this first-round matchup? Well, let's wind back to last year at this time when the Rangers were the youngest, least experienced team, and they were going up against the Pittsburgh Penguins in the first round with Crosby and Malkin and Latang. And what happened? Didn't really make much of a difference at all. The Rangers not only won the series, but they were able to come back from 3-1. So I, th I think there are inherent advantages to having been there before, but th they're not this positive. And um, the Devils all year have, have played with um, ha have, have played with house money all year. They're, they're a very loose team. They're, you know, they're a team that looks like they're having fun just about all the time on the ice. Um, I don't think they're going to be scared of this moment. I don't think they're going to shrink from this moment. And I, and I think, actually, the Rangers' experience last year is a good one for them to reference so that they don't make the mistake of thinking that they have a significant advantage because they've been in the playoffs now and the Devils have not been until this year. So um, I, I think you can find instances on both sides, but, you know, it, it's, it's who plays the game. Um, yeah that's going to matter over these next two weeks. Yeah, that is exactly what's going to matter, and this is why we play the games. I have to ask you this. How can this New Jersey team, you talked about how loose they play, how can they hurt the Rangers, and what would you say in terms of the Devils is their biggest Achilles heel? If the Devils have to play in their own end of the ice, that will be a challenge for them. Uh, the Rangers' fourth line is, uh, is a grinding line. They can pin the puck in. The kids... Uh, Hedl, Lafreniere, and Kako, that's their game. They, 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 that's their template, to get the puck in, go to work on, on, on the boards, on the wall, get to the front of the net. So um, the, the Devils are not a great defensive team when, when they're playing structured in their own end of the ice. Um, it's not as structured, I think, as, as they would like it to be. So that could be a problem for the Devils. But the Rangers are going to, again, have to, have to create possession. Uh, and sometimes that goes against their nature, too. Um, so if they can do that, the Devils will have a, a, a harder time of it. If, if New Jersey, again, uh, picks up pucks in the neutral zone, if they can force turnovers, if they can hem the Rangers in, um, then Shesterkin's going to be in for a long night, 
a lot of nights in this series. All right, we'll see how that goes. Now, look, game one tomorrow, Tuesday night, Hudson River rivalry going down at the Rock. Larry, when the final horn blows on Tuesday night, who do you think is going to come out on top? I think the Rangers are going to win game one. Why do you think, why will the Rangers come out on top in game one? I think this is a game for them to assert some, to assert some superiority. I think this is a game that they've been looking forward to for a year, uh, to get back here and start again. Honestly, I think Shesterkin has been looking forward to this for a year. I expect him to, to uh, be a difference maker tomorrow night and in the series. All right, there you go. And uh, with that being said, Larry, are you picking the Rangers to win this series? Or the Devils? I'm picking pick the Rangers in seven, which means that it is a toss-up. It is a toss-up. It can go anyway. Should be an exciting one. Rangers and Devils game one, as I said, Tuesday night at The Rock in Newark, New Jersey. Larry Brooks, he will be all over it, the great NHL columnist for the New York Post. Larry, thank you for your time. Always great to see you. We'll talk more hockey about this series down the road. My pleasure. Thanks, Dexter.